seems counterintuitive to keep adding oils onto your face, especially when most of us have acne prone skin and combination skin. But that hasn't stopped companies from releasing new facial oils seemingly every week. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm talking everything skincare once again. We're covering the truths or rather my truths and what I think about facial oils. Most people will always ask what do you recommend as a facial oil or what's your top facial oil? And I hate to break it to you but I particularly don't like facial oils. Now I know I might be contradicting myself considering the fact that I do have dry and dehydrated skin. However, I've opted and found other ways and other means to nourish and hydrate my skin. Now, I know sometimes we all just want to go to bed looking like a glazed donut and shining bright like diamonds. Facial oils will give you that. They'll give you this luxurious feeling. But are they doing anything for you? In the ideal world, facial oils are products that are regularly formulated and the basic idea is basically putting an oil onto your face to help supplement the natural oils of your skin. In efforts to add moisture to your skin and help repair the barrier that keeps the moisture in, it's very important to note that your skin, or your face rather, produces its own natural oils. And facial oils are rather a sealant or an occlusive. Now, remember how your skin cells are like bricks and the oil is like mortar? Well, without those oils that your skin makes, the bricks can separate, which means that it will allow water to escape from your skin, which is also referred to as transepidermal water loss, which will essentially cause dryness, dehydration, and flakiness. Now, let's get into what facial oils really do. Facial oils are products that are regularly formulated and the basic idea is putting oil onto your face to help supplement the natural oils that your face may be producing or isn't producing to make sure that it provides added moisture and help protect your skin barrier. The biggest benefit that comes with oils are the moisturizing effect. Now, if we're quickly touching on the different types of oils that are out there, there are soothing oils and treatment oils. Most oils that are applied end up forming a protective barrier on the outer layer of your skin. Now, I do want to state that although oils are moisturizing, oils do not rehydrate or hydrate your skin. Now, there are many different oils out there that claim to combat certain skin concerns, that claim to do different things, that have different ingredients, and that just have every single concentration that you can think of. The problem with oils is that there isn't enough data to back up the product on itself. For example, we all know the infamous oil, tea tree oil, which is also known to help solve antibacterial and anti-inflammatory concerns on the skin. Rose hip oil also being known to have antioxidants. Now I know this might be super appealing to you as a consumer, but I do want to state that facial oils are part of the clean, natural, fear-mongering tactic. Now I understand why someone or most people opt for facial oil, maybe because they are more accessible, but think about it this way. If you ever had to go to your esthetician or dermatologist and you had a particular skincare concern, definitely wouldn't think that they would recommend a facial oil for you. Oils have an unknown amount of concentration of something in it, which could be detrimental for your skin, causing contact dermatitis, especially for people who suffer from sensitive skin. This is something that you really need to be mindful of when using facial oils. Just a reminder, just because something is natural doesn't mean it's inherently safe. So personally for me, facial oils aren't always a necessity in my skincare routine. And sometimes I do substitute my facial oils by using them on my legs, using them on my feet, which tend to get very dry at times, especially now because it's winter. Or sometimes I've just mixed it with one of my body lotions and basically smear it all over my body. And I think what I'm trying to get across is that just because you want to go to bed looking like a glazed donut, sometimes facial oils aren't the product you need in your skincare routine. Simply because some facial oils are comedogenic, meaning that they do sometimes have ingredients that will clog your pores and thus creating contact dermatitis which basically tend to look like a reaction or a sort of rash that you have on your skin and most of the times you'll find that people who tend to lean towards more 
uh, products such as facial oils, they'll always say that no, it's a much more organic option, it's more, it's non-toxic. And I think the truth is that if anything is non-toxic, it wouldn't have fragrance in or any sort of other fillers that come with that ingredient. So for the mere fact that it's got fragrances, which facial oils normally do, I don't think it's something that you want to go with. A useful tip if you are someone that really uses facial oils and you believe in facial oils more than you believe in yourself, exfoliation is key in your skincare routine. So you really do want to make sure that you're going in with a good exfoliating product that will help to penetrate deep into your skin in order to unclog and to basically just clean your skin without leaving any residue of the oil that you've been using. I think in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say without getting lost in my words is that I'm not saying that facial oils are completely bad, but I am saying that if you don't like facial oils and you want something different, you can look into opting for a much more hydrating serum, a serum that will really help with penetrating deep in your skin. You're looking at hyaluronic acid, something that will really be gentle as well on your skin without clogging your pores, but still targeting the particular skin condition or type that you are dealing with at the time. But otherwise, do let me know in the comments. Let's have a chat about facial oils. Let me know what kind of facial oils you guys have used. Let me know if they reacted badly to your skin or if they really actually treating your skin good and it's something that you really just want to still keep in your routine. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.